Well, what is up, you little nuggets? This is DJ Snatchback coming at you live from Antarctica with another weekly progress update on the on our game. This week it has only been me working, and as promised, I have made some updates to the enemies that we have and their combat behaviors. So to begin with, here is this little drone enemy that flies around and drops bombs at the player. It is based on the same code and systems as all the other enemies, except it has no gravity and no jump behavior, so it will simply float in a, in a, at a fixed height. And if the, should the player come within its uh, attack radius, it will drop deadly bombs that will explode on impact and do some area damage. So the player has to make sure that they keep moving, otherwise they're going to get blasted. He has very little health and no armor, so, you, so if you can get to him, you can take him out with two hits right now from the chain whip. You should be able to take him out very easily with any weapon. The, the challenge will be actually approaching him because... Well, in a typical combat encounter, you would have to run a gauntlet of under, other enemies in order to get up to a platform where you could actually reach this drone. And it also could serve some other purposes where you could mount a turret on the drone instead of a, instead of a bomb or, or a laser that goes off in a fixed direction or any, or anything. Just to, just to make sure that the player has to keep moving, so as to increase the difficulty a little bit. Second up, the robotic right police now throws a tear gas grenade. So if you combine that with the robot police's shield as he steadily approaches you, you get a little arena where you have to fight your way out. Now, if you have followed the progress of the game or played it yourself, you will most likely be aware that we tend to experience frequent problems with the Unity physics system. And this leads me to the third big thing I want to present today. Uh, it might not have occurred to you yet, but this whole game is running on an entirely new physics engine. That's right. Considering all the problems we had with uh, Unity's internal physics engine, I decided to go ahead and write my own. In its current state, it has support for box colliders with collision detection and ray casts to detect whether uh, a line intersects any boxes or not. As of right now, it can fully replace the physics calculation that we have for the game. I will have to do some additional work though if I want to incorporate polygon, polygon colliders or, or circle colliders instead of just box colliders. But with a little bit of luck, we won't need that. It all depends on how we design the uh, the uh, all all the other systems around uh, movement and combat and such, and whether we will need anything more advanced than box colliders. At the present moment, I do not think so. But yeah, it has been three and a half days just of uh, cursing and smashing my keyboard over various little bugs that have occurred. But I believe the end result has been worth it, and it has turned out a lot smoother than the previous system was. We don't have these annoying side frictions on platforms anymore, and if you if you jump while moving towards a, uh, a barrier, you will actually not get stuck on that barrier anymore, because Unity's physics system deals with friction forces and such. We didn't want any of that, so we just so uh, so I decided to just write a very simplified version that covers our needs exactly, but doesn't include any other fluff that we don't need and that just causes problems. I have further optimized it by culling, that is I disable any colliders that are out of the player's view. The same goes with any enemies. The only enemies that are active in the game are the ones that you see on the, uh, on the screen, and the other ones are in a disabled state where they won't do any physics calculation or they won't update their movement or anything. But yeah. The game runs at a steady 100 frames or above right now. I fear that if we bring in a lot of colliders in the same scene, we might see some frame rate reduction. But I will do my best to look up further ways to, to optimize. If you're interested in how I developed the physics engine, please let me know. And I will definitely do a video where I break down the design of it and talk about the, de the decisions I made and the mathematics behind it if you're interested in that. So, as of next week, we now have our final sprint before the next release, which is going to be on... Let me check my calendar here. It's going to be on Saturday the 28th, so next weekend. And before that, we need to do a system for dialogue, quest progression, and shopping, as well as a, uh, uh, a fist attack for the player, which is going to serve for the first weapon you obtain. 
just your bare hands. And the little get over here a style attack for the chain whip where you lash out and you uh, grab an enemy from afar and pull them in towards you. As well as a few new uh, attack combinations for the net hood enemy. But yeah, we are now two people working on the project once again. After solving some uh, issues we had with the Unity editor. After syncing our projects together. It's just, it only took the whole day, no worries. I'm seriously considering moving away to another engine than Unity that solves team collaboration a little bit better. But as of now, that is it for this week. I really want to say thank you to all the people that have tested this version so far and have given their feedback. We've had a few continuous testing cases of this release and I hope that you all will try the next version and be as generous with your input as you have been so far. I really appreciate it. I think it serves to make a better product at the end. Well, now I'm going to sign off. Tell you who and see you next week. Bye.